Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve P2.72 from Hembley's book. So the question is find the power delivered by the source and the values of I1 and I2 in the circuit of figure 2.23 using mass current analysis. Mass current analysis means that we have to use loop analysis, right? So let's draw the loops here. Maybe this is the first loop. And because this is I1, I just follow the label. So this is the loop I1. And this is I2. So I follow that loop. So we will have loop I2 here. So what we need to do is we need to do KPL at loop I1. And then KPL at loop I2. Hopefully we will have two equation with two variable. Which we can solve for I1 and I2. Okay, let's do KVL at the first loop. So KVL at loop I1. Okay, KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. And let's start from the 5 volt voltage source. And because it is already in voltage, we don't need to do anything. But we have to mine the sign here. So we will have the sign is negative. Why? Because the current enters from negative terminal to positive terminal. So we will have minus 5. Okay, so minus 5 volt. And then let's move on to other components here, which is 2 ohm resistor. But we have 2 ohm here is a resistance to get voltage from resistance we need to multiply it by a current and the only current that pass through this 2 ohm resistor is i1 so let's just multiply it by i1 okay now let's move on to the last component in the loop which is this 6 ohm resistor so we will have plus 6 but there are two currents that pass through this 6 ohm resistor i1 here which pass from up to bottom but i2 is for flowing from the bottom to the upside part so because we are working on loop i1 we need to see it from i1 point of view i1 is positive but then i2 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus i2 and this is a voltage also because this is resistance and this is current right so all of this is the sum of voltage in this loop I1. All of that will equal to zero. Okay. Now let's do algebra. So minus 5 plus 2I1. And let's distribute this 6 here. So I will have 6I1 minus 6I2. And all of that will equal to zero. 2 plus 6 is 8 i1 and then we will have minus 6 i2 okay and let's move this minus 5 to the right hand side so i will have 5 here and i think nothing that we can do from here so let's have this as equation number one okay let's play the same game but this time at loop i2 let's do kvl but this time at loop i2 KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. So we will have 6. Let's start from 6 ohm resistance, resistance here. But we need voltage, right? And there are two current that pass through this 6 ohm resistor, which is I2 and I1. But now we are working on I2, so we write I2 first. But here I1 flowing to the opposite direction. So minus I1. Okay, and this is the first component. The second component is this 6 ohm resistor. So I'll have 6. Again, this is a resistance. So we need to multiply it by the current. And the only current that pass through it is I2. So I will have I2 here. Okay, all of that will equal to 0. 
Okay, let's distribute this. So I will have 6i2 minus 6i1 and then plus 6i2 and that will equal to 0. Okay, 6 plus 6 will be 12 or I will have minus 6i1 plus 12i2 is equal to 0. We can divide both sides by minus 6. So I will have i1 minus 2i2 is equal to 0. Or i1 is equal to 2i2. Okay. Let's have this as equation number 2. But then we can do substitution. Right. Because i1 is equal to 2i2. Let's write it here. Sub substitution okay now 8i1 okay 8i1 is minus 6i2 is equal to 5 however i1 is 2i2 so let's substitute that so i will have 2i2 minus 6i2 is equal to 5 and we will have 16 minus 6 which is 10 so we'll have 10 i2 is equal to 5 therefore i2 is 5 divided by 10 so i will have i2 is equal to 0 0.5 ampere or 1500 milli ampere right so this is I2. Maybe let's highlight that because this is one of the uh, target of this question, which is I2. So we found I2 and we also need to find out I1, but I1 is just simply 2I2. So I will have I1 is equal to 2 multiplied by 0 0.5. Okay, 0 0.5. And that will be 1 ampere. Okay, and that is the answer for I1. Let's highlight that. So I1 is 1 ampere. And then I2 is 0 0.5 ampere or 500 milli ampere. Okay, and I think that is the answer for problem 2.72. Oh, no. We need to find out the power. We still need to find out the power, but the power that delivered by that 5 volt is just the voltage multiplied by the current. Okay, the voltage is exactly 5 volt, but then the current is I1, but I1 is 1 ampere. That will be 5 watt. Okay, almost forgotten, but this is the power by that 5 volt voltage source let's highlight that and i think that's all for this problem see you in the next video bye bye